Hi everyone, so today I am at the Devil's Punch Bowl. Let me just grab my bike. We're going to go for a little bit of explore. I'm not going to go too, too far, but we're going to go for a little bit of explore. I've got my bike. And again, I'm having issues with my bike. Hold on, guys. Yes, I'm having issues with my bike. In a sense, I've got about half half the power on my, on my battery. And also, um, <clears throat> the electrical bits is doing that thing again, where the battery is not connected to the uh, to the bike. Actually, I'm going to take my bike with me, sorry. Um, so yeah, so we're at the Devil's Punch Bowl. It goes on for miles that way. And uh, and it goes a short distance that way. Unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, there's nowhere here to park and lock your bike. So, if I just sort that out, sort that out, my bike wants to fall over. Hopefully, my bike won't fall over. So this is the Devil's Punch Bowl. And if this gets any views, or if it, this gets any likes or comments, then I'll come here again. And I will just sort out my tripod. I will come here again and make a longer video and I will <laughs> explore a little bit more. Sorry guys, I'm just sorting out my tripod. So guys, like I said just now, if this gets uh, likes <coughs> and I get enough comments, enough likes, enough views, etc, etc, then I will um, come here uh, without, without my bike, I'll probably come next weekend or my next day off. Um, and again, if it's not raining, I will come here. And I'll explore a little bit more. <clears throat> so, again, this is folklore. I'm not saying this is true. I'm not saying it's not true. But the reason why they call this the Devil's Punch Bowl is because the devil <clears throat> and God had an argument. And um, the devil got angry, picked up a handful of dirt, and threw it at God, apparently. Now, I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in... Now, that. Now can I just say before I carry on, um, this is a Christian belief, that the devil picked up a dirt and threw it at God. Again, that's a Christian um, belief. That's what happened here. Uh, I'm not a Christian by any means. <clears throat> um, but I don't believe in 
the devil. I don't believe in the Christian God. But anyway, that's not fear nor there. That's not important. Um, but yeah, that's apparently what happened here. <clears throat> now up, if I carry on up that way, in that kind of direction, uh, there's Jupiter Hill and there is um, <clears throat> a gravestone of uh, a sailor. Um, when I say sailor, he wasn't part of the Navy or anything like that. He was like a just normal cargo ship that you see today. A bit like that. <clears throat> and he was travelling, I think, from L London to Portsmouth or Southampton. One of them two. And this used to be the old A3. And this used to be the old A3. Um, a couple of hundred years old, and it goes all the way. The old A3 used to go all the way along there. And it used to go all the way along there, all the way up along. And it used to come all the way along here, and then up past behind me. Um, and that particular um, road is not a road now, but that particular road um, was used for hundreds of years. Highway uh, men used to travel um, along there, and used to hide in the bushes, used to hide in the trees, and at any stage, stagecoach that used to go by, um, obviously the highway men used to uh, rob, um, <coughs> rob the carriages and whatnot for the gold and silver and any goods. Now obviously it's Saturday and obviously people, people are on their, on their bike walking their dogs. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm not too sure what that is over there in the distance. Obviously, it's towns that are. Now, London is in that direction. Portsmouth is in the other direction. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure the area of that in the distance. What I'll do, uh, if, like I said, if I get enough, enough likes and all that, enough views, I will go up to Jupiter Hill um, and I'll go up there and make a video up there. I didn't know I was going to have problems with my bike today. <coughs> um, my bike for the last couple of months has been really been really good um but yeah for some weird reason when i came up here <laughs> um, i lost half the power on my, uh, on my battery and the um, electrical system failed managed to get the electrical system back on going again but um yeah i still need to get home <laughs> so that's why i'm not going to use my bike and using the bike without the power is like um pushing a tank up a hill um, it doesn't work um, that's even on the easier gears trying to push a trying to ride a, this particular electric bike without the electric yeah <laughs> it's like trying to push a car up a hill doesn't work um, so yeah anyway um, back to the video so yeah like I said I'll go to Jupiter Hill and I'll go to the um, the sailor's grave if um, I get enough views and enough likes on this video. But don't worry, guys. They, do not worry. I am planning on exploring this little area that I'm in now. I'm just sitting here. It's about, well, it was half eight in the morning. It's about quarter to nine now. And I'm just waiting for the cafe behind me to open. Because um, I need to take a tinkle. Um, so, yeah. So that's why I'm just hanging around for 20 minutes, waiting for that for that to open. Um, 
So yeah, guys and girls, while I'm here and while I've got you, um, I want to talk about my crystals and my like crystal shops and all that. Um, all I can say about that is that obviously I have an online shop where I sell my necklaces and whatnot, the other neat knacky bits. Now, whether you're a believer and whether crystals work or don't work, um, again, that's your own personal opinion if they work or not. Um, but with my crystals, again, I'm not saying that they work, I'm not saying they don't work, but they do make very nice jewelry. So if you think, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm not gonna buy one because they don't work. Again, I understand where you're coming from. Um, but again, they make very nice jewelry, makes very nice necklaces, key rings, etc. Um, like I said, yeah, in the past, I've had people come up to me and tell me how nice they look. They haven't got a clue that it's a crystal, they don't have a clue what they do but they think they're nice so just bear that in mind um, whether you're a believer or not in crystals they are very nice jewelry <clears throat> um, yeah so as we're touching on that topic um, back in May I done um, I went to this fair and I had my own stall um, and I had people buying all sorts from me, sage dicks, crystals, etc. And I had this uh, young girl, she was about five, four or five years old. Obviously she was with her parents. And obviously the parents told the child before they got there, um, you know, don't keep on, you know. Um, you know what children are like, they go to every store and they wanna buy everything, that's it. Um, like a kid in a candy candy shop, right? They want to buy every old toy store. They want to buy every piece of chocolate and toy there is. So she probably got told not to keep on. But they came across my my store, and she got really excited because I had all these crystals, and she, you, you could tell that she wanted wanted them, but she knew not to keep on. So anyway, the um. The parents brought her a crystal. Obviously, I gave her a discount um, because it's for um, a young person. Um, I always give discounts to any, anyone anyway, so gave the uh, parents a discount. Um, and that's the other thing I do, guys. I do give got, uh, people discount, especially if I think they genuinely need the crystal. I will give them a discount. Um, so yeah, I gave the parents a discount and she was happy. So again, you know, if a, if a child, you know, may not understand what a crystal does or what it's for, but they love, I know, maybe the color or the shape, that's great because the child will have that and they will play with it or whatever kids do these days. And yeah, they'll, they'll benefit from, from the crystal. So that's what I'm going to say to you guys. Whether you believe in it or not, you will uh, benefit from, from crystals. So, I do have, like I said, I do have an online shop. mystickd.co.uk One word, one C. And a link is on my... Um, if you go to, like, I think it's called About Channel or Info or something... Um, go to there and the link, the link is there. Um, and obviously I'll put the, um, there won't be a link, but I will put the info in the um, description. Um, but unfortunately I don't know how to do a link. But like I said, the links um, in about the, inf the, in, in the information part of my channel, which is towards the end, you've got like playlist, videos, um, shorts, lives, it's towards a community, it's towards the end of that, 
um, click on that um, and it will take you uh, take you there and again I'll make sure and, and to the end of this month there is a 10% discount um, there as well if um, you want a discount on and a reasonable price as well anyway even without the discount and the delivery is cheap as well so I think the delivery is about two two three pounds something like that so yeah even the delivery is cheap so you won't get ripped off trust me so is there anything else I want to get off my chest before I start because what I'm going to do now is sort my tripod out and then we are going to go that way I'll try and keep my video within within 30 minutes I know people don't like a long video um, again I've got to try and carry my, uh, carry my camera and take my bike with me at the same time because I've got nowhere to lock it up so let's sort my tripod out first and let's go for a little wonder. So sorry for the shaky video. Sorry if you uh, suffer from travel sickness. Or you're feeling a bit seasick, I do apologise. very nice here I like coming here this time of the morning it's about getting on for nine o'clock in the morning actually what I'll do I'll put my helmet on I don't want to fall over so I'll put my helmet on like so Let's go. We'll go back this way, guys. We'll go the long way round. Yeah, I didn't realise there was someone standing literally right behind me. <laughs> so you probably uh, hear me talking to myself. So guys, what I'm going to do, or well my plan is, is to uh, leave my bike underneath these bushes, so they're out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Hopefully it won't fall over. I think it wants to fall over guys. Let's try and get a rock. Put that under there. It may or may not fall over, but we'll see. Yeah. So anyway guys. So I'll leave my bike there under the bushes and we're just going to explore this little area. So this is like a, a picnic area. Uh, like a picnic play area kind of thing. In the bushes. And I just noticed one thing as well. Um, looks nice, don't get me wrong. But I noticed a um, 
a circle of chairs. So yeah, I just noticed a circle of chairs. I knew these were here before anyway, but... But yeah. And every chair has got a, a carving on it, which is nice. Yeah, let's have a quick <coughs> sit down. So yeah, I don't know why they put these chairs in a circle, because normally when they put chairs in a circle like this, is they normally have a fire in the middle, and then do whatever but yeah obviously here in the UK you're not allowed to have uh, fires and out in the open like this so yeah I find it very strange but yeah like I said, I said guys I'm just hanging around until uh, the toilets are open I can take a whiz Yeah, I'm gonna make a couple of shorts while I'm here as well, guys. So I'll probably after this video, I go to the toilet and then make a couple of shorts, and probably make another video here as well. Little little climbing frame. Uh, even the trees here I do find rather interesting because obviously it gets really windy up here and it blows the trees into different angles but obviously not today it's a nice calm day a bit chilly but, but yep so yeah there's no real particular reason why I'm making this video guys it's a nice little explore video. It's a bunny. Missed it. It's a bunny over there. But yeah. If I can find a safe place to look up my bike, I'll probably, if I do make another video here, I'll probably go a little bit further afield. If I feel that my bike's safe, safe there, of course. Because, even though my bike looks tacky, looks cheap, um, unfortunately, it's not cheap. <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, it's not cheap. For me, it's a, you know, 700 quid's worth there. Which I can't afford if it gets stolen. Can't move forward to replace it. But yeah. But that, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Um, I'm gonna make, after I've gone to the toilet, I'm gonna make a couple of shorts here. Hopefully I'm gonna find a place to look up my bike <laughs> while I do that. Um, yeah, and see. I, I, I can take my bike with me, it's not a problem. But it's just very difficult trying to film and take a bike with me while I'm film filming. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. Like I said, it's not a, a film about anything in particular. I just want to take you somewhere different, somewhere nice. Um, somewhere a little bit more refreshing than, than the cemetery. So I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to make my way over to the cafe which is just behind those bushes and see where the toilet's open i'll see you all again soon and like i said guys you've made it this far thank you so much if you bought a crystal from me or you plan on making a uh, plan on buying a crystal from me again a big thank you um, and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching